Yeah, I'm going to just start here. It's 5 June, whatever time it is, 2021. I'm going to try and explain the different models that I have had and don't have anymore. This is a the back, what we're looking at on the screen is the back of a national Panasonic RX 5100F. F meaning it has shortwave, okay? And, uh, you know, now this is the end of it. That's the other end. It's got the shortwave one and two, okay? Now here is a picture of three different uh, 5100s. The two top ones here are standard USA model 5100s. This is a JDM model 5100, and this is the 5100F. Notice the difference. This adds a, uh, adds a uh, I think it's a mic mixing slider, okay? And then the controls for it are these two, because then, uh, or I'm sorry, this one is the, I, I'm not sure. This is the off, anyway, so just want to show you that because I searched my own pictures and I did not ever take apart or service a national, which is what this is going to be about. But I want to show you the difference here. So there's that other picture. Here is a, the, this is the 5100F and this is a, um, a national, just like I have down here. Uh, just like I have down here, another national, okay, but I don't ever serve it, never took pictures of it. Here again is another picture of the 5050F, a Quasar, the two regular ones, and the JDM uh, 5100, okay. Here are the inputs, they're all the same, okay. Again, there's that. Um, these two are the standard ones, this one is the, the one with the additional slider, because there is a slider hole for it. Okay, you, know, you can't see it in the picture, but like that. Just another picture. Okay, here again is the national, the front of it. It's got TPS. You can't see it, but there is the additional slider knob for it. Okay. And again, this is what it looks like on the back. It's 100 volts. It's a national RX 5100. 100 volts, that's it takes 8D batteries, okay, um, and then that's pretty much it, that's another picture of one I had back whenever, it has a yellow tip, okay, yellow tip on that antenna, well, let me just stop here because I think I've shown enough pictures of history of these things, let me back out, alright, back out, rotate down, okay, rotate down, this is a national RX 5100. Let me just hand held it and zoom into the back. You cock your head sideways, all right? Okay, so. Is that it? Is that showing it? Wait. No, oh, there it is. Okay, so much for that. And notice that this one has a black tip for the antenna, okay? As opposed to the other one having a white tip. So I don't know what the difference is there. But uh, what I want to show is that when I bought this one, it came with the Toshiba. Where'd that picture go? It came with the Toshiba. Let's see here. It came with the Toshiba. Wait, let me just do it manually on the camera. These two came together. Got these from Bai Japan. Okay, wait. There we go. Came with those two right there. And so as they are. In that picture, we are now sitting on the table the same way. Okay? This one I've already gone through and repaired it. Works great. Okay, This is running on batteries. This is not. So, and I'll just briefly, let's see here. Put it, turn, it's on tape. All right, so hit tape, hit play. <laughs> show you is I'm going to go back here and center on this one okay this one I have not serviced this is a national okay so let me white out just a tad right, that's showing the full radio pretty close right. I don't have the light turned on yet let's turn the light on and see what that happens so got the radio playing ever so softly 
all this time. I'm not using my stereo microphones because it's not in stereo just yet. But here it is. So that works. And uh, the tuning light does come on. Okay. And the antenna is not. The antenna is not even extended. So there's some talking, but here's the antenna. It's not even this quick. You can't see that. So the pizza up there on 15th? Yeah. I worked there, and I think I worked there for an afternoon because I got a phone call for an online. You see that? Here's the antenna. It comes in, it goes out, it goes in, it goes out. Right so there it is right there. So now, let me flip it off of the that. Let me show you the cassette deck door opening. So let's zoom in for that just a bit. Oops, go the other way. So I'm going to hit, wait, no, you can't see me doing it, so that's good. Right, so let me hit the eject button. Here we go. Now it's finally open. Wow, that was really slow. However, the door is broke. Okay, so it's, you know, looks good and everything, but the darn door is broke. So, <laughs> just... get it right out of here I guess. Let's see here. Yeah, so the um, the little not sure what's broke but something broke on the inside of this thing so not supposed to come out like that. But let's see here. Well I'll mess with it later but okay, let me just take it out and show you that the tape player doesn't quite play right so here's that's play mode okay, so we got you have that noise going on so that means clean the recording bar switch okay let's stop right, so that's stop that's let's see here so, that's working oh real good noise This won't stay in position. This is the, uh, that won't work. There's play. And let's take a tape and put the tape in here and play it. So, before I take it apart today and service it. And then next we'll be servicing this right here. Okay, but just wanted to, I can't wait to get to this one, but first I want to service this one here because it's somewhat easier. Okay, so good day everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.